All right, so this is the Miniware ES15S motion control electric screwdriver. Uh, this screwdriver, bring up my notes here. I'll give you the details. Uh, this screwdriver is. It's got a USB uh, charge plus data. You can upgrade the firmware on top. Uh, set button, a run button on the side. It is 146 millimeters by 19 millimeters in diameter. It takes four millimeter hex sockets. Uh, 700 mil, uh, milliamp hour battery. Uh, 90 minutes to charge and 2.5 working hours. Not just running, but actual working hours. Uh, manual torque is 1.96 newton meters or 20 uh, kilograms per centimeter uh, force and the driver can go up to 0.157 newton meters or 1.6 kilograms of force uh, let's pull it out take a look at it you'll get it like this a little card uh, basically it tells you it's not recommended to use it by hand you got uh, instructions pretty much the middle is where your instructions are all at uh, here let's open this up get this well it's not easy to get this out there's your bits underneath so don't throw all this away thinking there's nothing in there because there is um, let's get the screwdriver out so be nice to come with a case like the cheaper ones do <laughs> but okay you're gonna get it like this uh, push the button and you'll see you can't do anything with it nothing happens well here's the thing hold it Hold the set button and it unlocks. Hold it, hold the set button, and it locks it back. Took me a second to figure this out. I did it without the instructions. Yay me. So here's your set button, and here's the USB C charge port slash data port, which you'll be able to upgrade the firmware using that. Pretty simple interface. Uh, you've got uh, the first up at the top is the torque setting one through five. Uh, then you have in the middle, which this will basically, you know, if you, there's, I don't know if you can see it, but that's screwing one in, backing it up, stop, and then here we go, backing it out. So it kind of gives you a little graphic showing you what the, uh, the, what directions it's going in. That shows you your battery level and impact. Now, uh, on that display, which here, let's check real quick those dimensions. Uh, turn it on, so it out. 18.92, uh, so say 19 millimeters. And the small end that you're holding is actually, I'm gonna say 15 and a half millimeters. And length, it's at 144, which 144. Four and a half, say 145, dead on. So, we'll look at this. Yeah. Okay, your settings, uh, you, you can see I've got the impact on. Uh, you can turn your impact on or off. You can turn the retract on or off, uh, which the retract is when you're tightening a screw up in it hits the torque setting and tightens up it backs up just slightly and keeps the bit from getting stuck and I tested that and it does work and it did keep the bit from getting stuck and it did get stuck with that turned off so I run it with retract on uh, you can turn your light on off or set to delay if it's set to delay then when you trigger this it's a, it's a short delay before it actually comes on I don't know what that's helpful or how that's helpful I turn it off because I don't really need the light I've got light here to to go by you can turn beeps on and off 
you can check the language to Chinese or English and it's also got a battery management on or off the battery management I think it comes in it up as battery M uh, battery management is recommended if you're going to store it for long periods of time uh, speed is usually the first one you see when you go into settings we're fixing to do that uh, and it'll set the top uh, speed at 220 RPMs, uh, medium is 360 RPMs, and the high level is 470 RPMs. And you can set the sensitivity to low, medium, or high. And what that would be is once you push the button to run and turn in automatic, which you can turn automatic off, but in automatic, it, it it's the sensitivity level that it tests or it, 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 it it sees how you turn or torque the screwdriver before it starts to uh, starts to work, and and the way it would work is you hold it like showed earlier. The more I turn it, the faster it turns. I come back to center. You can see how it's slowing down. It comes to it's pretty much stop right there. So I turn this way, and it starts to go clockwise screwing in the more I turn it this way the faster it goes and so that's the sensitivity settings that's what that's doing and then you've got torque settings which the torque settings are let's see it's one two three four and five and wraps back around again you set that with the set button and I've got it set on about three now if you want to get into your settings hold this button down there's your RPMs then there's your sensitivity, there's impact, on or off, retract, on or off, and you got light, on, off, or delay. Then you got the backlight of the OLED, uh, what this, the degree of it is, and beep, on or off, language, English, or Chinese, and battery management, on or off. I've got it off, but you would turn it on if you wanted to uh, store the thing without being used and you have a uh, factory reset on it as well and of course like I said when you first go into it here you go you got uh, your revisions uh, serial numbers temperature which I'm not sure what the temperature has to do with anything maybe it'll give you an idea if you're overheating it and you need to let it cool off or something I don't know but uh, here's the light on the end of it kind of give you an idea I don't know if you can see it but it doesn't matter what orientation you have it it still responds so it's pretty simple and straightforward uh, you go online to the Miniware website and you can download the latest uh, firmware revision and update that now I'm going to go into a little more detail and some tests and trying it out whenever I get the rest of the uh, uh, electronic screwdrivers in so I can test it against those and compare them uh, the results torque wise usability and otherwise it's got a really nice feel to it it's it's solid uh, I think it's probably going to be the main one that I use uh, seems to have a good bit of torque and one thing that I do like is the other sets and stuff that I've, I've gotten into this so way find it uh, they don't tend to have a Phillips that big because it's a micro screwdriver it's for small screws and whatnot but uh, that right there is pretty good size you can get a pretty good size screw I think it's recommended up to an M3 uh, screw that you would uh, use with this uh, screwdriver so we're gonna get into more detail whenever we compare all the rest of the other screwdrivers when I get them in uh, it's going to be from cheap to this level right here. Um, thanks for watching, and God bless.